Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here, showing a Serato DJ mapping that I made for Machine MK2. So starting up at the top, we have uh, buttons for slip control, reverse. These two will scroll between the templates, which I'll get to. Uh, internal mode for both tracks. This top button uh, scrolls between your active deck, because i got a SL3. This loads to the third deck. This is browse, and since it's a push encoder, it'll uh, it's eight o'clock. It'll tab back and forth between scrolling between your tracks and scrolling between your um, crates. Load for deck one and two, and then doubles for one and two. That's quantize. Uh, these pad banks are for cue points. So you can see here, I got the cue points, and I'm going to also release a version where the cue points are um, horizontal instead of vertical. This is for uh, flip controls, so it's the first one, two, three, four, five, six are for the flip controls. That's for uh, flip on and off, and that's for re-triggering it. Uh, the SP6, uh, you have the launchers for the one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have mutes underneath. And then this side is for routing, so then that will be output one, output two, output three for mine and mute. Uh, you can change that if you have something different. Loop control for that pad is in and out, loop one, two, three, double the size of the loop, half the size of the loop, and then loop set. That's the same thing for the second half. Um, this pad bank E is just for deleting the cue points. So if I am on cue point one, and I go here and delete that, you'll see it's gone, bring it back. Uh, right now there's no LED feedback for deleted cue points, or else I would have done that. Um, for me, pad F is cue points and loop control and flip control for deck three. So the first ones will be cue point. Uh, first, first eight will be cue points. Then these four will be loop. Um, these four will be flip controls for deck three, and then it's uh, I believe it's in and out, and then roll and set or something like that. Um, coolest part is probably this, which is the effects pressure pad bank. Um, the these pads will turn on the effect and then the pressure sensitivity will be how much it turns. Um, so you'll see over here as I'm hitting the pad it's lighting up and as I'm pushing down harder on it and the same thing on that side it, you'll have a different effect so hopefully you'll have fun with that. Um, and then these two buttons are for turning the effects units on so for effects unit one and two this is for effects unit one and then this is for effects unit two. Um, and then the last pad bank is for beat jumping. So this will jump back and this will jump forward. And then your sizes are 1 8, 1 4, 1 half, 1, 1 half, 1, 4, and then 32. And then whichever one you're on is how far your track will jump. So right now it's on 32, and you can see it's jumping between the track. Um, Going down here are play for one and two, sync for one and two, and then um, flip controls for recording, saving flips, and then playing them. Um, over on this side, uh, there's prepare button, and then this these buttons will open up effects. There's effects going in away. Um, there's your SP6 going away, and then there's the flip controls going away. So you can have as much or as little on the screen as you want. And when you are in the SP6, these four will toggle between what bank you're in as far as the sample player. And then so that'll work in conjunction with the um, SP6 size. So you can launch a clip there, go back into pad bank A, launch it, go back into pad bank B, and launch it to the same pad for that same slot. It's just whether or not you're in A, B, C, or D but this is still slot one, two, three, four, five, six, as I said before. Um, as far as these pages up here, which are unlimited, so that's very cool. Um, I have effects unit one, so this is just kind of like a double up of that. You can see that the pads are lighting up as I push down, and you can actually see on the screen how hard I'm pushing down. But if you just want to do it where you're toggling them on and off or turning them, you can do it that way, and then you have tap and controlling the beats as well. Um, and then this is uh, just a page that kind of doubles as assigning the effects to which deck you're going to use. 
Um, this is a cool page for the SP6 where you can jump between the queue points or the loop points on where the SP6 samples will launch. And then there's volume and tempo for SP6 um, slot one, two, three, four, go to the next page, five and six. And then this is a file browse preparation page. So if you wanna look in those folders, you can. The next page is for loop control. So this kind of just doubles up in and out, in and out. And then there's roll. I tried to put roll on the pads, but it had an issue where when I switched to a different bank, if I was inside of a loop, whenever I would switch, it would go out of the loop. So I just left the roll out of the mix, put the roll up here. And then this auto button just doubles as a kind of same thing down here on this last pad in the loop pad bank. Um, deck controls, you got key lock. Um, slow down and speed up not not doesn't actually change the tempo which is kind of slowly temporary slows down and speeds up um, gain here's an actual tempo knob that does speed up and slow down the song here's a range knob so you can um, change the range of from I believe it's 8% to 50% as far as what effect this knob has and then each track has a filter as well as this button will reset the filter so you don't have to try to sh hurry around and get to 12 o'clock, same thing on the other side. Um, and then on this page, you have a uh, grid edit. So you can press um, different pages. Uh, you can affect different pages on this side and that side as far as the tracks. Um, this will open up the edit. This will set a, set a warp marker. This will clear one that sets you back to the beginning of the song. And then these knobs are kind of the best way I could get to scrolling back and forth. So when you hit this one, it will adjust and then it's kind of like turns it off moving left and this turns it off moving right and then this is the same thing with the slip mode of it. Um, on this part of quantize which goes along with the quantize button um, the MIDI mapping was kind of weird so for instance if you're on one half it'll show as one fourth um, but you'll get used to that and then you can just see in the setup menu how these um, how selecting these buttons change the quantize value. Um, and then back to one. So I believe that's it. Just wanted to make it uh, quick and sweet because last time I went over time. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. DJ Divine Justice signing off with my new machine mapping for Serato DJ. Uh, shout out to too many people. Uh, but as always, practice and enjoy. Peace.